Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how does Selenium interact with the web browser? Let me answer. Selenium will not directly interact with the web browser. Rather, Selenium will interact via the W3C protocol and uh, browser drivers okay, to interact with the web driver. Let me diagrammatically explain this for you. So let's say in an ID like Eclipse ID or IntelliJ ID, there you will be writing some Selenium code in some language, let's say Java language, okay? Selenium Java code, let's assume, or Selenium Python, Selenium C, any language code you can say. This is ID, okay? Some editor, Eclipse ID or IntelliJ ID. Now, when you run the scripts here, directly the scripts will not run on the browser. This side we have a browser okay on which the scripts are running it can be a chrome browser firefox browser whatever the browser okay there are different browsers right so based on the browser name mentioned here the scripts will run on a particular browser but not directly okay the scripts will not run directly okay so there are different browsers let me copy paste uh, things okay uh fine so let's uh, draw this four browsers. So now what happens in between before the scripts are di directly run on the browsers are the Selenium will not directly interact with the browsers and the Selenium Java automation code or Selenium any language code will not directly run on the browsers. So rather in between we get something known as W3C protocol first. Okay. Why are W3C protocol? Okay. W3C protocol is like a, you know, kind of a language or communication, you can say, between the Java code and the driver executable files, okay? So W3C protocol will convert this uh, Selenium commands uh, into an understandable things that browsers can understand or drivers can understand, okay? Here we have something known as drivers. For every browser, there is a driver executable file, okay? There's a driver. For Chrome browser, we have a Chrome driver.exe. For Firefox browser, okay? We have geeko driver.exe for edge driver, edge browser, edge driver.exe is there for Safari browser, Safari driver.exe file is there like that and so on. Okay. Driver is usable files are there. Now the scripts, when you run, they will, they will be, uh, you know, uh, via the W3C protocol, they will be communicated to the respective driver executables. Okay. If, if you mentioned Chrome browser here, Chrome driver.exe. And Chrome driver.exe file, this is driver, guys. Okay. Driver. Driver.exe files, these are. Okay. Driver exe files. Same thing here, same thing here, same thing here. Different browsers, driver is usable files. Okay. According to the mentioned browser name here in the Selenium, for example, if you mention web driver, driver is called Chrome driver, then W3 protocol will uh, transfer it to the Chrome driver.exe and on the Chrome browser, the scripts will be running. Okay. With their, Via the driver only, the scripts will be running. Okay. If uh, Firefox web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver is mentioned, then W3C protocol will divert these commands via the W3C protocol to this uh, Geeko driver.exe file, Geeko driver. Okay. Geeko driver.exe file. And this Geeko driver will run the scripts on the Firefox browser. Okay. Like that. Okay. Different browsers. So, if you get this question in the interview, I would simply say that the Selenium automation code will not directly run on the browsers. Rather, via the W3C protocol, the Selenium code will be, okay, uh, you, know, uh, you know, will interact with the driver uh, executables of the respective browsers mentioned in the code and driver executables will run the code on the respective browsers. Okay, this is what should be your answer. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.